What's going on everybody? My name is Joe Sharp and what is going on here? I mean, what literally is going on here? Um, hmm. Well, I think it has something to do with incessant need for silver. And there has to be something in here. I mean, right? There has to be something in here. Well, let's find out. Let's find out together. Uh, maybe there is... I don't know. Maybe there are some cool halves. Wait, let's see. Better yet. Like that. I don't know. Wait. What? There's only one way to find out. And that's to go through them. I'm going to go through them with you. Now I'm not going to keep you on the video the whole time, but when I find something, I'll pop back in, and uh, maybe there'll be some luck in this box. My first box on camera. Let's see what happens, you guys. I'm excited. Let's have some fun. All right, before we move on to anything, let me just express, yeah, I have a scope, okay? I don't like to really use the scope until I get into the nitty gritty of things, okay? So I start with these and what they are are basically they're magnifying glasses. Yeah, I'm a huge nerd, okay? I'm a huge nerd and they're lit. All right, so I put these on. They are cool. I also have a really good jeweler's loop, all right, that I like to look at. It's real quick, real easy. I can spot DDOs a mile away with this thing. You know, like I said, the scope is great. Don't get me wrong. I'm going to bust it out on one of these videos here pretty soon where I'm really looking intensely at some dimes or pennies, okay? Oh my god, is it going already? <laughs> All right, listen, I'm gonna start trying to stare at that little dot, okay? And I have, I have Rob Finds Treasure on, and you know, every day of the week, I usually have somebody on. It might be Southern Metal, Rob Finds Treasure, um, or Coin Q and A. Rob, he's always yelling, right? He's always yelling, uh, which keeps me motivated. He's helped me get through many coin boxes, like mostly pennies, because he's yelling at me. Anyway, oh, I got this box. I'm gonna open it. Right here. Oh. <laughs> I'm excited. It's been a while since I had one. This whole virus thing is shaking things up. Uh, my bank was finally able to get me this box of halves. I bet. I've already hunted through these. What's happening? Anyway, I bet I've already hunted. I'm busting the seal right here. Let's see if, if anything. I don't think we're gonna have anything. I have a bunch of dirty coins. Everybody's already searched through them all. We'll see. We'll see. Mm. Right, centennials. The. All right, I'm not going to keep you here this whole time. I'm just going to keep you here as long as it takes to get these uh, rolls out so we can look for enders. I'll give you an overall uh, prediction, prognosis of where we are. So far, it doesn't look great. This may very well be a skunk box, as Rob puts it. I mean, I'm going to name it something different. A jump box. Skunk box. Skunks are smelly. At least that's something. If you don't have anything, it's nothing. We're gonna have to go through all these, folks. I will be back. Thank you for watching so far, and let's see what we find. Can you see it? 
It's not easy. It's not. Let's see if I picked up the right one. Oh yeah. 1965. Okay. 1965. John F. Kennedy. Silver, half dollar. Okay. It's known as a 40 percenter. Not in great condition. But, it's silver. And now we'll take it. Number five, A N I F C. So from 2001 to present, these aren't really released in circulation. They're not supposed to be in a coin roll. Doesn't make it particularly valuable, especially when it's circulated. But it is pretty cool to find. Got myself a N I F C. So I'm back and it has been a relatively productive box, but uh, before we get to that, I kind of wanted to just clean up my area a little bit um, and show you a little bit about my technique in packing these back up. Now, I don't have a bank where I can take these coins back and, you know, they just accept them. Uh, I, I've got to roll them back up and to keep costs down. I don't buy the rolls, so I, this one is something that I've already uh, opened and repacked with the junk, and generally one roll will weigh between 224 to 225 grams. Always uh, hunt with uh, Variety Vista and a couple of other resources uh, on my computer here. So I can actually, um, you know, check the coin to make sure that what I think I see is actually, you know, present. It's not an immediate, oh, this is a DDL. I mean, everything needs to match, um, at least closely. I mean, there's different die stages, uh, of course, right? Uh, but, you know, the, the die is like uh, the, the finger and the coin is the fingerprint. So you, you gotta make sure the fingerprints match. This is, process is not as fast as what I've seen um, on the uh, internet uh, or on YouTube. Uh, now granted, I think a lot of the, the guys will go back and go through the coins that they've uh, thrown into their bin, which is great, you know, uh, to double check. But by then they're all smashed up anyway, you know I mean? I'm a little bit more gentle in my process. I, I, you know, even though the coin might be junk, I, I don't throw it around, you know. Um, anyway, okay, so this is what I found. Listen, this box had silver. It had this 1965 rough shape, but it's still 40%. And that will be the end of this one. Thank you for watching and joining thank you for any comments uh feel free to subscribe i will get more content up just want to do something a little bit different uh than what i've seen uh so i'm still trying to figure that out but uh you know it's great to be on the scene uh it's a fantastic community and what a great hobby Looking forward to seeing you guys soon.